On 15 May 1990, victim slash couple Kelly Tan and James So was chatting on the spiral steps of the Amber Beacon Tower located in East Coast Park. They were friends since secondary school but only started to date a few days prior to this tragic incident. At around 10.15pm, the couples let two men walk past them to get to the upper deck of the tower. 15 minutes later, the men, now wearing masks, started attacking the James and Kelly from behind. What happened next was that James defended himself by grabbing onto one of the masked men that attacked him and got him over the rails of the tower. But since the tower wasn't really that high, the masked man was easily able to just jump off and run away. James was only stabbed in the back, however Kelly wasn't that lucky. Kelly tried to run down the towers, but unfortunately one of the masked men caught up to her and started stabbing her in the neck. As James reached the bottom of the tower, he saw the two men already escaping while his girlfriend was bleeding out in front of him. He frantically looked around for help and he saw the only sign of life in the park, which was a restaurant. He then ran over to the restaurant to call for help before fainting himself. A few theories on what might have happened was that this might be just a possible case of a robbery went wrong, as around this time, which was the 1990s, East Coast Park was actually experiencing a pretty high rise in crime, particularly armed robbery. And around that time, yeah, there were cases of armed robbery happening in East Coast Park. Also, uh, quite unfortunately, East Coast Park was also a popular date for couples to hang out with. So maybe the assailants saw James and Kelly as like an easy target and tried to rob them, but things went wrong. However, there are like a few holes in this theory as the robbers were the ones oh no, the robbers were the ones that initiated the attack by just stabbing them and they didn't really demand anything from what I researched and also it was quite ferocious the attack so that's why the police seems to doubt this theory. The assailants were also thought to be foreigners as not only did according to the newspaper while they were fleeing the assailants did speak some foreign language that wasn't English, Malay, Chinese or Tamil and moreover, James identified one of them having curly hair, and since curly hair isn't really that common in Singapore, yeah, I feel like they might be foreigners and they might have escaped Singapore a long time ago. Amber Beacon Tower has also been the site of numerous ghost hunting spots, which I've always thought to be pretty ridiculous, so there's that. I also read on Reddit that maybe there was a chance that these people were like actual killers since during the whole attack they did not speak so the victims couldn't really ID them and they also had their escapes planned out. So may maybe that that's a theory. What I think, okay this is my personal theory right, maybe it had something to do with the relationship like since they did start dating a few days prior so maybe there's it's related to that and they have known each other for a very long time maybe somebody got jealous and hired them i don't know this is just pure speculation i have no evidence to back up what i say so just take it as you will and with that no suspect was ever formally arrested and this case remains unsolved